hello guys welcome to security red versus blue team channel in today's video we cover uh, the stages or phases of ethical hacking so let's get started so whenever we want to uh, attack a particular target or a particular remote uh, the mainly we follows uh, the important stages uh, the first one is like uh, the reconnaissance which is information gathering stage so we need to um, try to get as much as information as possible uh, before uh, attacking a target and then uh, using the information that is found on the uh, information gathering phase uh, we use some of the uh, data and uh, using that we used to scan the remote target once the scanning is done we try to get uh, uh, the access based on the loopholes that is found from the scanning phase and then once the access is gained uh, we need to maintain the access as a, until uh, the attacker wants to perform all the activities that he wants to do uh, and the last stage will be like clearing the tracks uh, so that uh, he doesn't get caught anywhere uh, so let's get started in depth so reconnaissance which is information gathering so what is what is information gathering so it is like uh, the process of collecting the as much as information as possible about a particular target or a network uh, for finding various ways to intrude into the organization's network system and and the reason why we mainly we need this uh, because uh, mainly to know the um, uh, the security posture of the the end entity and reduce the attack surface and build an information database of the target and also to uh, draw the network map and what is mainly done like uh, when we look at it uh, when it comes to um, information gathering we mainly collect uh, the basic information like uh, basic information about the target uh, and, and its network and what is the um, the dns that is used what is the network and what is the organization structure and uh, what, what is the services that are running so we, we try to retrieve all the um, uh, information that is possible uh, even uh, the, the 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 domain that is hosting the web um, so these are things we mainly uh, uh, try to retrieve at the initial stage of uh, information gathering and if you look at the common terminologies that we uh, come across information gathering so that is uh, active information gathering and passive information gathering so in, in, in when it comes to active information gathering uh, we mainly gather the information through uh, uh, interviews or it can be a questionnaires or it can be a, a, or the phone call or it can be a uh, the social engineering activities or it could be uh, on-site visits so uh, uh, so in these kind of live interactions we call it, we go through uh, we call it as a active information gathering so when it comes to uh, passive information gathering um, it's mainly about uh, uh, collecting the data from already um, publicly available uh, resources or, or the open um, blocks or so so these are these are the two common terminologies that we come across when it comes to uh, a recurrent stage mm -hmm. and uh, and 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 what uh, when it comes to the information that we uh, mainly collect, uh, mainly we collect uh, uh, the network information and the system information and organization information. So if we look at what what network information means, uh, mainly the IP address or uh, it could be a domain names or it could be a router details or something or it could be a the services which are running with the TCP or UDP ports. So these are the main things that we try to um, uh, retrieve in, in when it comes to network information. Uh, if we talk about system information, it's mainly like uh, the user details or user or group details, or it could be a, a system or application banners, or it could be a, a, a remote uh, system architecture or um, types, uh, the system types, or if any multiple system names are there which are interconnected. So these are the things we get uh, when it comes to system information. Similarly, when it comes to organization, uh, we mainly target about uh, um, uh, employee details, organization website. Uh, and how the architecture is maintained and uh, um, address and phone numbers and also the background of the organization so these are the things we mainly try to cover uh, uh, when it comes to um, uh, collecting information about particular uh, entity which is a network a system or an organization and uh, like um, so like uh, in case if, if we if we don't if we skip the uh, recognition scanning phase uh, what, what might uh, would happen is that uh, there are more chances that uh, the person could easily get caught. Like uh, if you take an example, like uh, let's say I'll uh, uh, you need to hack an email account and uh, you'll, you'll send the details to a client system and uh, you, you, you try to send a phishing mail saying like uh, your XYZ bank account has uh, zero balance or uh, do some changes in it. And, and uh, in this case, assume that the customer don't have an account in a bank. So in this case, what happens is that uh, easily uh, um, uh, uh, the victim um, uh, file a complaint in the cyber uh, cyber org. So that uh, uh, it, it could be a mal, uh, malfunction uh, where um, launching the attack without understanding the security posture of the organization it may it may lead to the fail. So to have a successful attack, uh, one must should, should have the uh, the basic knowledge about the the target that is going to attack. Um, so when we look at the uh, the tools and sources that we used when it comes to information gathering phase, um, we have like a DNS enumeration where we try to get uh, 
uh, DNS name server and mail server of the um, mail server enumeration with the DNS enum tool. And we have a what web tool uh, that we used in uh, Linux uh, missions, uh, mainly to get the target IP or uh, to find the web server fingerprint or to find the server location uh, or to find out some backup engines, which is running along with the version number. So we use that uh, when it comes to Linux and we have OS Mantra website, uh, sorry, browser, uh, where we get the additional technical information about a, a particular target. Then we have one beautiful link called uh, um, searchdns.netcraft.com. So it mainly provides the history of the website, like since when it started um, and what are the technologies that is used and uh, who is hosting that website, whether it's an Apache or Tomcat or if, if, uh, any other uh, cloud infra. And also the OS they are running on the web servers and what are the web versions. So these all you can find through this uh, searchdns.netcraft.com. If you uh, Google it, uh, this link and the a web and uh, try to put the website that you're trying to find out uh, you will be seeing all this information and similarly we have uh, ip tracking um, using the mail it's like a, a, a spamming a person like to find out uh, the location of by sending a spam mail and then we have a uh, robtext.com where uh, mainly to get the uh, website networking from and then we have whois.com to get the the owners of the information the domain owners uh, especially so this is with respect to information gathering phase. Um, then let's move on to the scanning phase. So in the scanning phase, um, uh, so we, we tried uh, in, in the information gathering phase, we'll be uh, getting the IP address domain names. So using that information, we try to uh, go further step, uh, which is like uh, gathering the additional information about the target uh, using a highly complex and aggressive reference techniques. So the main uh, agenda of this uh, scanning technique is to find out the host discovery and then find the open ports and find the um, voice detection and and also find the services and, uh, and which are running in the remote and uh, corresponding uh, versions that it is running so that we can get to know which version has a um, weaker and which version is uh, stronger so that based on that we can use the multiple exploits uh, you know, to bring down the target and then uh, if you talk about the uh, the types of scanning um, we have like a mainly three different types of scanning which is a network scanning port scanning and vulnerability scanning so when it comes to the network scanning so it is one of the most important phases in uh, intelligence gathering where uh, uh, we mainly target for uh, f um, finding the system architecture OS which is running on the target and uh, the services which are running on the system even the the multiple hosts that are connected to uh, that system so these things we mainly targeted and uh, when you look at the um, the list of scanners that is that is used uh, when it comes to network scanning we have fping we have opping and we have net discover we have angry ip scanner and we have advanced IP scanner and we could see all these tools by default present in the the Kali Linux machine when you uh, which is a vulnerable machine when you try to install and work out on the um, the ethical hacking stuff and then um, we have a port scanning so in the sports scan uh, technique mainly uh, Uh, um, it's, it's mainly used to identify the open ports which is running on the target machine and the one of the best tool that we used uh, um, yeah, yeah, so far uh, we have been using even today is uh, nmap um, and, and, and in nmap we have like uh, multiple uh, scan types we like we have a, a ping scan which we call it as icmp echo scan let's say you have like uh, hundreds of uh, ips in a network and you want to uh, check which ip is reachable and not we can't uh, um, just go and ping each ip right so uh, if you just define the network range and if you do an uh, icmp scan using nmap then it will list out all the ips which are active and which are not active so similarly we have a tcp connect scan and uh, which we have a tcp connect full scan hop scan uh, where we can validate uh, tcp uh, three way handshake everything uh, whether the um, and then uh, we have uh, idle scan we have null xmas or fin scan and then we have udp scan we have aggressive scan we have specific port scan and then we have a version detection and voice detection scan so i think we'll be coming up with a new video on nmaps uh, specifically so where we uh, cover all these things uh, uh, like how nmap works and what are the different scans which is mentioned here and what is the use of this scan when we use which scan for what so we'll, we'll be coming up with a detailed video on that so for now we'll just uh, uh, cover the uh, the brief on this here now moving on to the vulnerability scanning um, in vulnerability scanning which mainly used to identify the the weakness in a system uh, mainly to determine uh, how the system can be exploited and uh, one of the, uh, the common uh, tools that we come across on daily basis is the uh, nasus uh, which is provided by tenable security and then we have burp suit by port and then we have an expose we have open and then police guard we have uh, 
uh, NetSparker, and we have uh, Akinetics, and we have many other tools. Like, uh, so these are the common tool, um, uh, the most the widely used tools which we uh, see on daily basis. Um, so I think uh, we have, we already have uh, covered the uh, Nasus uh, scan tool in uh, in our in our channel. I think I will be posting a link as well at the end of the video, so you can do watch out if any have not watched it. And we'll also be coming up with a video on uh, uh, Bob Suit as well as Nexpos as well in the coming days. Yeah, I think this is with respect to the scanning phase. Um, then let's move on to uh, the gaining access phase. So in gaining access, so this is the phase where uh, attacker breaks into the system um, uh, or network using various tools or methods. Uh, even after entering into the system, uh, he has to increase uh, his privileges or um, uh, he has to escalate the privileges um, to administrator level so he can install all the application or the exploits that he want to run or uh, and he wants to whether he wants to modify any data or hide data or delete it or anything so uh, um, so in in, um, in the face of uh, the gaining access phase um, Uh, here uh, the main um, um, ultimate uh, goal of the uh, penetration tester is uh, do, like uh, doing any assessment like in most of the times it requires a great deal of time to be spent on the um, information gathering and scanning phases uh, in few cases gaining access could be very easy um, as accessing the exploit of um, ex exposed private url uh, but at the same time in some cases the gaining access will not be easy as accessing an exposed url all the times because sometimes it may be uh, um, required to run the exploit signature to the target to gain the access. Because this is because uh, this is where the penetration tester should be careful. Because he has to run the exploits only uh, when there is no shadow or uh, uh, doubt about the vulnerability existing uh, on the target machine. Because the, the rule must be followed at least uh, when we are performing assessments on the the production system. Because in most of the cases, the penetration testers are uh, not allowed to run the exploits on the production systems, especially uh, uh, when they're in critical and they don't want to have the downtime for their system. Um, so this is where uh, it, it is taken care. And also, um, if we look at the common tools, um, it's not like common tools because uh, the, these are the mostly uh, most widely used tools, Burp suit and Metasploit. And uh, uh, the gaining access uh, need, need not be these two tools because there are like uh, n number of methods uh, hackers will be using to um, the gain access to a system. Um, uh, if somebody was, if somebody wants to um, uh, try to exploit the system, then you can uh, install the Metasploitable framework and uh, Kali Linux machine, and then you can try out the uh, all the exploits. Which is uh, available publicly and then um if we talk about some of the exploit types um i think we, we have like um, uh, the most widely used uh, remote exploits uh, local exploits um, and then we have client side exploits and we have few more so if we talk about uh, remote exploits uh, remote exploits are like the, the more valuable than any other types of exploits because remote exploits are like a, a like a like a full full um the guns loaded with a bullet we can uh, hit the remote system using this kind of exploits typically um, over a network or to gain the access to it similarly when it comes to local exploits uh, the local exploits are used mainly to uh, exploit the vulnerabilities locally and these are uh, the mostly uh, uh, used to elevate the privileges of a user machine i mean like this like uh, it's like uh, the user must have a physical access or uh, ssh access to the with the low privileges can attempt to gain um, higher privileges by using the local exploits and then we have uh, uh, client side exploits uh, so to use this category of exploits the attacker or a pen tester must rely on the the time of the social engineering techniques and yeah and, and we have few more exploits that we have not covered uh, maybe uh, in the later session when we cover the metasploitable framework uh, in, a, in our separate video we do uh, we do cover all these uh, exploits then comes the maintaining the access phase so in the maintaining access phase, um, it's like uh, uh, when um, once the penetration uh, tester manages to gain the access to a target system, he should work hard to uh, keep the keep his boat floating, and uh, he can um, he can choose uh, either to uh, hijack a system, uh, or he can just show that uh, um, system is vulnerable, or he can use the uh, mischievous that he want to uh, maintain or persist the connection to the background without uh, knowledge of their use. And this can be done using the Trojan's root case and uh, uh, and other malicious files. And, and and the main aim of this uh, access is to uh, uh, to target the, until he finishes the task he planned to accomplish in that machine. 
so um, so, so it depends on the um, uh, it, it depends on the attacker that he will, for how long he wants to keep the system open uh, it, it need not be like always uh, gaining the access uh, gaining the information or uh, uh, it, it's all it's it's mainly to threaten the um, uh, the remote entity as well and also uh, if you look at the common uh, stuff that comes across uh, when it comes to maintaining access which they mainly the back doors are rats we call it uh, remote access trojans uh, trojans and we have spyware malware and uh, other viruses as well then uh, we move on to the last stage which is uh, clearing the tracks uh, because the no thief wants to get caught and uh, an intelligent hacker who always clears all the evidences so that uh, in the later point of time uh, no one will find any traces leading to the leading to him because this involves like modifying corrupting or deleting the various uh, uh, values or logs and modifying the registry values and unleashing all the applications he used and deleting all the folders he created because uh, there is no proper technique or tool uh, that is uh, defined for clearing the tracks it's mainly uh, solely depend on the uh, attacker uh, on, on what methods and what tools and what installations he has come across uh, to gain the access to a system. So it's completely left to the actor. Um, it, there's, it's, uh, it's, there's no particular tool um, for clearing the tracks. Um, yeah, I think uh, we are done with the topics. Uh, so thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Uh, we'll be coming up with a new video uh, very soon on the continuation topic. Thanks once again for watching.